Hello teachers, today I'm going to show you how to post an announcement in Google Classroom. So the first thing you want to do is log into Google Classroom. You can get there in a number of ways, but one of the easiest is to just type in classroom.google.com and it'll bring you to your home page. All of your Google Classrooms you have ever created will be right here. As you can see I have a lot. Now those of you that are CCS teachers you're probably thinking, I didn't create any of these classes, how are they there? Well, that's because it's integrated with FACTS, our learning management system. So if you have a class in FACTS, uh, it's already automatically created Google Classrooms for you, which is great because that means you don't have to do it yourself, and it means you don't have to invite students. So once you have your classes in here, you're going to go ahead and click on the one that you want to go to. And you need to make sure that you click on the actual uh, title of it or the the square right so I'm gonna click on the fake class that I created and as you can see there's nothing in here right now and there's nothing on the stream page it's probably what many of yours looks like right now as well so as you can see they even tell you you could communicate with your class right here on this page this is the first page that Google Classroom always opens to so you can create and schedule announcements and you can even respond to student posts. Students are allowed to post on the stream page unless you change the settings. All right. So if you don't want students to be able to post, you have to change the settings. But assuming that you do, you can post anything you want on the stream page here. So right here, I'm going to share something with my class. I'm going to say, welcome students. This is our virtual class. Right? And as you can see, it's for this specific class, fake class, and all of these students are listed. You can choose specific students that you want announcements for, but for the most part, announcements are going to be class-wide. Now notice a couple things with this stream page. I can just hit post and it'll automatically go, and all my students will then get a notification saying that it has been posted. It gives the time and who said it. It's myself and it's telling them, welcome, this is our virtual class. I can add an additional comment straight here, um, right? Additional comment. But that's also where some students can post too. So sometimes if they have a question, they'll post like, hey, what is this? Hey, can you tell us more about this? And they can put it right there and you can respond to them. Now, when you're posting an announcement, there's a couple other things you can do as well. Once again, if I want to get started, I click right here where it says share something with your class. And I'm going to ask them, please view this video. And then down at the bottom, you'll see a little paper clip that says add. You want to click on that. And you have four different options. You can add something straight from your Google Drive. You can add a link from a website. You can add a file from your computer, or you can add a YouTube video. So for this, I'm going to add a YouTube video. And I'm going to go ahead and search, and I'm going to say grammar lesson, because maybe I want them to be able to review something. So I'll go ahead and click any video there, and then I can hit post. And notice a couple things. One of my older posts is now down at the bottom. If you post a lot of stuff, it shows up in the stream page and it pushes everything else down. But posts aren't the only thing that end up on the stream page. You will see that when you create an assignment, it is also going to show up on the stream page because the stream page lists everything that's being done in the class. So just as an example, I'm going to create a fake assignment real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit assign. I'm not even going to deal with anything else. That'll be a different video. So now the assignment's there, but if I go to the stream page, you'll see Michael Krauser posted a new assignment, fake, and that was the title of my assignment. And it pushed everything else down. So if you do a lot of posting and you have a lot of assignments, just know it does get a little overwhelming for students because there's a lot of information here. But let's say that I want them to be able to always see this particular post. I can go to the right hand side, click on the three little dots, and I can say move to the top and then it's going to move that post all the way to the top. So you can continually do that as well, um, but just be aware that this is kind of like a Facebook-like stream or a social media stream, whereas every time you post something, everything else gets pushed down. But there you have it. Very simple. That's the way that you can add things to the stream page. Once again, just click share something with your class. You can write it. 
you can post whatever you want you can add specific files and lastly you could also schedule it for a specific time by hitting schedule and setting the time that you actually want it to go automatically so that is how you post an announcement to the stream page